Hello everybody. So today I have for you a new review for a subscription box from the Big D Bag. Now, if you are new to the channel, you haven't seen my past exploits with subscription boxes. I have previously did three months of Barrel and Blade and three months of Tack Pack, and they are both utter and complete garbage. From missing items, I would watch somebody's review and they would have more items, or to another person's review who had different items, to my review, you know, to mine, or I may have only gotten one thing out of the whole, you know, box that I was supposed to get, to the wrong color items that they asked about in the description, to just absolute sub standard garbage just junk products um, I've yet in my life to open up up a subscription box and be happy about it well that changed with the big d-bag now this is my first one we'll get to the full review of the contents in a minute but I want to tell you where I got it from where I I bought it myself I signed up for the subscription I will do it for three months like I did before and if I think it is worth it after three months I'll continue doing it until I think it's not worth it anymore so I stumbled across this through the VSO gun channel uh, Curtis he well he now hobnobs with the big the big boys on YouTube all the big channels but um, at one point in time, I spoke with him quite often on an American Warning uh, live stream, and uh, I look at his channel as a very matter-of-fact channel. I think he does things uh, much like I do. Um, if it's not, if it's not scientific testing, you know, if it's not, if it's not a detailed test for one reason or another, then it's a destructive test, and that's much of the way uh, that I do the same of my tests. Lots of times they're, they're longer uh, testing periods, not quite the unboxing type initial reaction. Really want to get you guys to know what you're looking at, what you're buying if you decide to buy it. That's one of the things I really respect about the way he runs his channel. Okay, what can I say? A couple of Ohio boys, we do it the same. He advertised the big D-bag, and unlike the department store channels that sell you Tack Pack and Barrel and Blade and stuff like that, the JCPenney channels, uh, he is not one of those, and because of, I know what, where his standards for equipment is, uh, I went ahead and got this one. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to his video down below where I first heard about this. And I'm going to put a link to the Big D Bags website. And we're going to go down to the table and check out the individual items. All right, here is everything that came with my order. Now, I don't know how much of this came because when I used the code VSO, I do know that Kurt said that there was something extra that came with your package. I don't know which one of these is the extra, uh, but I know that this... Uh, that this did not come in the bag itself. Uh, this and one of these did not come in the bag itself. So that may have been the extra thing, I'm not sure. What I can tell you is that just looking at it right here, this is already more useful than everything I ever got from Barrel and Blade and from Tack Pack combined. Um, I'm already more happy with it. So let's go to the first thing here. <clears throat> this is a sewing kit. This is a sewing kit from uh, Gear Aid, a company called Gear Aid. If you can see that. And uh, it has buttons, it has needles, it has safety pins, it has all that stuff. It has a, a seam ripper. Uh, these are super useful. Get one of these, get many of these, and put them in your bug out kits and your uh, various survival bags and things like that. This is an awesome thing. So uh, good sewing kit right here. Now, I think I accidentally got two of these. These are pen pendant kind of survival tool things. This is really the only gimmicky thing that they sent. Um, it's a pen that does work. Now, it's not a uh, pressurized pen, it's not a right in the rain pen, but it is a pen with a thing for cell phones. Uh, you unscrew this, 
and you have two little two little uh, uh, screwdriver heads. Like I said, this one is kind of kind of gimmicky. It's made by Delco Outdoors. Delco Outdoors. I don't know if that's going to come through or not. But uh, and then has a compass on the top. You open up the compass, and it has a little keychain light. But it does write. It does do what it's supposed to do. The the compass seems to be correct to my Lensatic compass, so that's a plus. But nonetheless, this is still kind of a gimmicky. It's really it's real cheap, cheaply made. You can feel that it's that's thin plastic. This is something that you pick up off of the counter at a gas station as a 99 cent impulse buy that's what these kind of are and i think i got two of them on accident but they'll make neat little things just to give somebody that needs a pen or something real quick okay coglins coughlins whatever you, however you pronounce it uh, drinking water tablets i actually have some of these exact ones in my bug out bag um, they're good they work um, you can find them at various stores um, but nonetheless, useful item if you know somebody that's, they're cheap, they're inexpensive. They're not cheap as in don't work, but they're inexpensive. If you know somebody that is trying to build a bug out bag, this is a great, great gift for them. You just give them one of these. And uh, these do, I don't know if it'll say it on here or not, treats up to 25 quarts. So now granted, there's life straws and other things out there that, that, uh, do gallons and gallons but this little guy for 25 quarts just a little bottle of tablets decent little thing at least it's useful okay the knife comes with scallops a, a spare pair of scallops um, I hate the sheath but I like the knife I do like the knife it's just uh, a little it's made by uh, sur 12 survivors I don't know if you know that company or not, but made by 12 survivors, index finger, knife. Um, it's reasonably sharp. I mean, I'm not gonna drag my thumb across it. It's sharp enough that I won't do that. Um, decent, you know, decent feel to it. Uh, yeah, it's something that uh, I think this is probably a decent little knife. And it comes with an extra spare set of scallops, which is nice. Um, I hate the sheath. I think the sheath should have gone up all the way to here. But I might make one or, or you know, find somebody that can make me one. Because I, I do like this knife. Uh, they just drop the ball on the sheath. It is a belt mount sheath, but um, that being open and susceptible to like catching a shirt tail or a piece of rope or string or anything really accidentally catching your hand and pulling out that's 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 not good this here here's another cog coglins coughlins i don't know how you pronounce it um it's got a, a combination lensatic map compass uh, book in it tells you about grid north and magnetic north and all that other stuff stuff and here's the compass i did check this compass to my good lensatic it is true it has sight lines it has what's cool over here is like 1 over 25 it has meters it has miles over here to measure for a uh, oh also 1 over 25 miles and meters and this is 1 over 24 for inches miles things like that so this is actually a pretty cool little compass um, it's not going to be a very expensive one but again i checked it it is accurate uh and that's really all you can ask out of a compass is that it be accurate so good little thing to put in your bag or pack or whatever it is that you have uh, again a useful little item this guy here no oh, i'm not going to go to him yet this one i'm super impressed by this this grunt line, I am super duper impressed by this. I've never seen anything like it. It may may have been around for a while, but I've never seen anything like it. It's like a rubber braided shock cord. It's got loops and and clips on the ends. You can use it for endless stuff. It's it says on the package how long it is. 
it's seven feet, stretches up to seven feet. You can use it for, uh, I mean, you can use it for tent building, shelter building. You can use it to lash stuff down in your vehicle or on your pack. I mean, there's just good rubbery cordage like this. Um, there's just a bunch of uses for it. And this is very heavy duty stuff. It uh, has a weight limit on it of 20 pounds. So 20 pounds, you can flexible elastic cord, holds up to 20 pounds of tools, clothing and gear. This flexible elastic cord stretches up to seven feet, ideal for everyday use, camping, emergency or survival. So I really like this grunt line. I think that's, this itself is one of the coolest things I've gotten out of uh, now seven months Three months of barrel and blade, three months of tack pack, now one month of the big D bag. This is actually the coolest thing I've gotten out of all of them combined. So that and this, this is actually pretty nice. But um, this is the thing that is going to stick out the most. Now for this, 12 survivors medical bag. Um, it comes with molly straps. Uh, this is a first aid kit. It's a basic first aid kit, but this case is super duper uh, heavy duty. I mean, it is really nice. And I really like how it's laid out. The contents in it are exactly what you would imagine they'd be. They're basic first aid stuff. Some burns. Uh, I think there's some burn stuff in here. There's antiseptic wipes. There's 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 some gauze. There's some tape, tweezers, uh, gloves, things like that. Right. It's a basic boo boo kit. But the case, tourniquets, uh, chest seals, uh, Israeli bandages. Uh, medical cards or uh, uh, combat medical cards all that stuff will fit in here and i think this is a really I, the, this could have been empty and i would have been equally excited about it this really could have been empty because i think this is a really cool compartmentalized little medical kit and uh good really good velcro on it and as you can see if you really pack it up i mean it can get up to that big like really have a lot of stuff in it, in it. still velcro shut but it feels like it's made out of a good heavy denier uh cordura maybe not neo nylon uh, absolutely this between this and this made this box made this bag the big d bag really worth it all right so like i said a couple of those things were a little gimmicky the pen is a little gimmicky this little uh this this little guy here it's it's granted it's it's kind of a toy um and i'm not the biggest fan of this sheath but i do like the knife but otherwise this is the first subscription back pack that i've opened and not been instantly enraged about um i think there's some useful stuff in there i think there was some actual thought put into it by people who actually know what it takes to to do survival stuff uh, I'm not convinced of that, of those other two. And uh, yeah, I will, I am looking forward to the second month of the, of the big D bag, which is again, a first for me. So that's it. That's the big D bag. I'll leave a link, like I said, to VSO down below and to the big D bags website. Check them both out. Thanks for watching. There are multiple ways to support this channel. If you like to down in the description, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.